Hello, in this video I will not talk about microcontrollers, development boards or programming. Christmas is near, so I decided to make some Christmas ornaments, using simple electronic components and integrated circuits. I am planning to put them on my Christmas tree or window, I don't know. So it's time for blinking LEDs. This is my project, this blinking ornament. I designed this simple board and ordered it on PCB Way site. But, but when package arrived, I was surprised. They sent me my PCBs, but in package they also include, included some free stuff. So I got more ornaments. And uh, cool looking ornaments. And to be honest, <laughs> they are much better, better than mine. But they are professionals. What is interesting, I still can't figure out how they work. There is a bunch of uh, R RGB LEDs blinking, changing colors in different patterns and there is no microcontroller or some integrated circuit. Maybe it's hidden, I don't really don't know. I ordered PCB to make ornaments and they send me much better ornaments. Okay, great. They also send me this. I don't know what is this, but it's look cool. I got this pen and couple of stickers. So thank you PCB Way for these great Christmas gifts and these cool boards. I will be glad to use them. Okay, let's go back to my PCB. Let's call it retro board. For blinking LEDs, I used two chips or better, it's better to say two integrated circuits. 555 timer, which is used to make signal, clock signal, and this uh, 4017 decade counter. On the internet you can find many LED chaser projects that are practically the same like my project. Here is project on breadboard, eight LEDs, 555 timer, 4017 counter, two resistors and two capacitors. With different values of resistor and capacitor I can change speed of blinking. Whole project will be powered with this CR battery. Here is PCB with no components. Most of components are surface mount components which can be tricky to solder sometimes. They are small this, this is CD4017 and here is 555 timer, even smaller. Good soldering iron is needed. I'm using this TS100 soldering iron more than one year and I'm very happy with it. So, let's solder. First I will solder integrate circuits. When uh, soldering uh, surface mount components, soldering paste or flux will make your life easier. I will put a little solder on uh, only one pad. Using tweezers, I will place my integrated circuit and solder it. Now I can solder the rest of pins. Same method is used for 4017. Later I can check all connections using continuity test on multimeter if I want. Soldering uh, resistors and capacitors is a little simple, simpler. Uh, 
and now I need to solder battery holder, switch and LEDs. That's it for this week, I hope you like this project, feel free to subscribe to check my other videos, stay safe and stay creative. Goodbye.